your thoughts on today's performance? What the performance showed all the things I asked of them. Uh, like I said before, you know, obviously we did a lot of tactical work yesterday and looked at Dagenham and how we were going to approach it. But the biggest thing for me in front of these fans with a week or two weeks that everyone's had is just go and show them that we're all we're all in the same direction. We all want promotion. We all want to win games at home and get people off their seats. And even at half time, you know, I was disappointed. Thought the goal was was avoidable, but after that, we didn't crumble. You know, we showed some character and fair play to the fans because they didn't show any sign of turning on the players so that's much appreciated because they never do they just support 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 and it's always a difficult one when you're going away from that end second half which is obviously Dagenham's tactics to do it and, and fair enough so to keep Driverson on from a distance and, and all, all three sides by the way were fantastic so it's a big thanks to them today it's a very rare event to go one nil down at home this season how disappointed were we with, with the goal because there were four defenders around the ball yeah disappointed something we, we, we talked about and we tried to tweak at half time just just players being a little bit further up the centre forwards backsides and, and not letting them turn and, you know that happens it's football it's not happens on purpose but what you look for as a coach is to if that happens again are you going to do the same mistake I was always taught make a mistake but don't make the same mistake twice or else you're not listening so no they, they, they were fantastic the boys second half especially and I think we really turned it on a bit with the, with the way we played game management like at Eastley it was miles better as a performance in Eastley granted but the game management near the end and, and, and slowing things down stuff you need to do uh, and towards the end, the nervousness wasn't as much as it's been in the past. And there's a one-goal lead. We didn't sit so deep, although we can still be a bit higher when we're, when we're protecting the lead. But we spoke about that in there. The boys have taken it on board, and I'm just glad they can enjoy their weekend. So you got the second goal on about the hour mark as well. Did you expect a bit more from, from them going forward? Or was it more of a case of, right, we're just going to block everything that they can do? No, they've got some good players. I'm not going to criticise them or how they play. You know, they, they, They've got some really good players. And when they go 1-0 up, they probably back themselves to see that out. Uh, but you know, a bit of magic from Kingy and, and Cab's shown some real character under pressure situation. By the way, as many goals as he's got, he's got for a reason because he's you know his ice cold. So no, uh, it's a dag dag. I think they'll be up and around there still. They'll be disappointed with the result today, and they probably saw it as a perfect chance to upset you know all these six thousand odd people in here, and uh, it wasn't to be from. Jeff King, he created the two penalty opportunities and um, obviously break into the box, that's something that he does with on a regular basis, doesn't he? And that's four, I think, penalties he's won now. He does, and I said to, to Phil up there that I think that we've scored the most free kicks in the league. 99% of them probably have been created by him. We've scored the third most corners in the league, I think, created by him. Uh, I thought his defensive work was good today. I think he got done once down here with Miles Weston first half, but after that he was strong in the tackles, clearances were good. You know, the, these players, are, you know, they all want to improve still. They're not going to rest on what they're good at. They want to get themselves better. And, and the two weeks that I've been taking training, that's all they've shown has been great attitude. You know, Curtis Weston in the side or Lawrence Maguire in the, in the squad today, what's their, what's their situation? Yeah, it's a shame. You know, Fridays are quite short and sharp, so I like them to be. And uh, sadly, that, that Lawrence, I think even after Eastley, is, is Achilles flared up. That's an ongoing thing, so we really need to take care of that one now. We don't want him to be up for too long. And Weston uh, was that bad whack he had at South End, if you remember. That bad tackle was out for a bit, and that's been a sort of ongoing thing. Uh, but they were both, you know, really keen and eager to be part of it. Uh, and they're in and around the dress room there and they enjoy the win as much as everyone else. How are you and the players delighted after all the sort of hullabaloo that's gone off the last couple of weeks to get the victory today? Yeah, I'm delighted. I'm delighted for, for those players, really, because, you know, ever since I've been taking today today, that the attitude and effort and all those sort of cliches uh, have been fantastic. You know, so even at half time, disappointed with the goal, they're giving it their all. So you have to give them a little bit of love for that. You know, these supporters turn up today and, OK, there's a bit more clarity now on, on what is or isn't going to happen going forward uh, and they got behind us and they're going to go home and enjoy their Saturday night and that's what it's all about making people happy and uh, we had the three points at Eastley in a, in a different kind of way and I thought today was uh, was a better performance and a more sort of exciting home performance to, to sort of stay second in the league. It's still unbeaten at home as well and it's about turning those draws into wins isn't it? Yeah I think so I think if you ask anyone if you'd lost two games after this amount of time you'd pretty much work out we'd be up near the top so I think it's important to get that mindset because there'll be games in the season where we're maybe nil-nil away from home and it will be like an Eastley or games where everyone's like, let me know what time does this finish, this is horrible. But you've got to make sure those times you don't lose. Uh, and I've said it before, if you defend well, if, you, if, you, if you're rigid, if you're strong, if you're disciplined, if you show character while it's, while it's nil-nil, give yourself a chance of winning the game later on. Are you going to be throwing your hat into the, the ring here for the manager's job? I think... It's, uh, it's obviously a standard answer I'm going to give you. It is day-to-day. -day. It's day-to-day. -day, uh, and there is no, no 
beating around the bush with that. It's day to day. So it's Thursday, I find that you know I'm taking training Friday. Friday, you know I'm taking the game Saturday. As it stands, I, I presume I'll be taking training Monday. Uh, but say t t tonight is all about those supporters and players enjoying the three points. And the board have given no inclination of anything going forward than yet to you. No, I think I think everyone saw the state. You know, it's a statement what's gone out. And, you know, what, what's you know that that's one I suppose thing that people are you know more certain about now that what isn't or what is or isn't going to happen more like so you know things take time to, to to be ticked off the list of what isn't or isn't going to happen it doesn't happen overnight it, it's these board directors care passionately about this club and they want what's best for it going forward and if it takes a bit of time it takes a bit of time and how disappointed are you overall that it came to that situation i think it i think it's more a case of being very surprised by it you know i think it's you expect people to you know it's if you were bottom of the league and, and sort of things aren't going too well, then obviously the people pay the price. But, it, you know, it, it's happened now. We have to get on with it. And uh, going forward, we have to make sure we, we stay at the top of the league and, and make sure that all these hard-fought results don't go to waste. And it sets up a real cracker on Tuesday, doesn't it, like Stockport? Yeah, yeah, tough game. I think they scored in the 85th minute. Uh, but they're grinding out ways to win. They've got a good squad, be a big crowd. Hopefully we'll take a load down there and have a good night.